this tutorial we will discuss about control statements statements so which are various control statement in scilab first of all if then if else then next is if else else if else then for loop file and switch or select not switch but select so we'll discuss about if else if else else if else and for loop file and select So I'll open new sign out. I will save this. So control loops are control state control C. So first of all, <coughs> you can accept the input. Suppose x is equal to so input. Input is the command. Where inside the input, you can write enter, enter, suppose h, enter h. Then I'll write if, if x age is suppose it is greater than 18, then you can display. You are allowed to vote in election. It is greater than else. Else, you can display you are not allowed. So this is the if else statement and finally you have to write the end so that it is nothing but the end of if else if if x is greater than 18 so if you are if anybody is creating greater than 18 that person is allowed to vote in election otherwise not allowed so we'll check whether it is working or not so you can compile from this or you can execute or click on execute so it is executed and it is asking what is the age suppose I am entering 20 so you are allowed to vote in the election so suppose I, again I am executing enter age 3 you are not allowed so if uh, if it is greater than 18 then it is then allowed if not then not allowed so that is the if else statement I have written this is the first control statement if else now we can write many functions in the same suppose this is nothing but if else else statement suppose I want to write for loop for loop see for um, for loop this statement can be written as if suppose i is equal to 0 it will start from 0 it will second parameter and third parameter second parameter indicates increment if suppose default increment you are not specifying then it will increment by 1 so 10 then i will write display i so it will display number i i will save I will make this as a comment again. comment so that only this can be executed for loop save execute you can see the numbers from 0 to 10 once again I will execute yes 
gone to zero. Now you can have the and before here only the first value i first value is zero, last value is ten, and it is incremented by one. So default increment is one. If you don't want default increment, you want to increment by point five, so that you can specify the increment and you can execute it. Clear. Execute it. The values are 0, 0.5, 1, 1.5. So it will display all the values with increment of 0.5. Now, inside the for loop also we can write if else statement. We will take default value. So if suppose if i value is less than 5. You can display less than five. Else, else display greater than five. Greater than five, and you have to end the if else statement also right on the end. So you can use if else inside the for loop. So if number is greater than five or less than five, it will display less than five. Else display greater than five. Okay. I will execute first value one. Which is less than 5, less than 5, 2, 3, 4, and greater than 5 onwards is greater than 5. So, inside for loop, also you can use if else statement. So, that is second control statement for loop. <coughs> now, next one is while statement that met I will accept is equal to input input enter number number this command is used for taking input from the keyboard input enter number it will take from the keyboard now while while a less than 10 a less than 10 you have to display display what if less than 10 display a you have to add a is equal to a plus 1 and int while while a less than 10 display a a plus 1 and I will save it or write it as file 1. Save. Clear the screen. So I will execute. It will ask for input number. I will suppose having, I am entering the number as 5. Yeah. After entering 5, it will check for whether it is less than 5. Yes. So display 5. It will display 5 is incremented by 1 so that 6 again it is less than 10 7 8 9 till 10 it will execute suppose I am running this executing this again and I am entering the greater than 10 number so it will not display anything because it will not enter into the loop <coughs> enter the loop so that loop will execute only the condition is correct so this is nothing but the while statement how we will use the while statement now the 
second name mm -hmm. so select select till now we have discussed for loop if else if else then while now in this particular program we will discuss select if suppose there are many cases or many situation in which we cannot use if else again and again <coughs> so that we can use select so for example x is equal to input enter 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 number date from pick the number of numbers related to date or day uh, it will accept then select what it will select it will select x then there are cases case 1 then if case 1 then it will display first uh, first day that is nothing but sunday sunday if the number entered is 1 then it will display sunday i will copy this and i will paste it case 1 then I will modify case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 case 6 and case 7 Sunday then Monday Tuesday and next day Friday, Saturday, and it will end. I will save this and I will execute. I'll execute. It will ask for the day and the week. So I am entering five. Yeah, fifth number. It's nothing but Thursday. Sixth is Friday. Once again, if I executing spring, it will display Tuesday. So this is nothing but select statement or select control statement.